since we're almost all too busy trying to get the perfect selfie or create engaging TikTok content for more likes and followers, we sometimes miss out on some of the very real stuff going on around us. This orb, this imagery just hovering in my living room. So these videos show us that sometimes it's best to point that camera out towards the world. You won't believe the stuff you'll end up recording. Fun and freaky, scandalous and scary, 15 most terrifying things captured on camera. Butterfly Ghost The original post reads, Spirit disguised itself as a butterfly then turned back into a spirit. Say what? As the footage unfolds, someone is chasing what looks like a regular butterfly around their apartment. Using a blanket, the aim was to probably trap it and get it back outside. No harm done. But that's not happening. As soon as the person tosses the blanket over the area in which the butterfly landed, a large human-shaped being emerges under the fabric. Definitely not a butterfly. But there's something significant to many about this video. Butterflies are believed to be a way for the spirit realm to communicate with us. Most of the time, some people believe the message from your deceased loved one is very simple. I'm alive and well and have not forgotten you. I love you. Seeing a butterfly is one thing, but to have one land on you? That's supposed to be a sign from a spiritual realm. Are butterflies signs from our deceased loved ones? Or is the so-called spirit in this video just really a mad butterfly? The conventional meaning of the butterfly is that of transformation. Just as it grows from being a caterpillar into a beautiful winged butterfly, it reminds us that we're designed to grow and flourish in life. This creepy video makes us think it's a warning and not a reminder. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Ball pythons like this were originally named and are still referred to in most of the world as royal pythons, an appropriate title owing to the regal appearance of their naturally occurring colors and patterns. But why is it eating itself? Few images are weirder or more horrifying than that of a snake swallowing its own tail. Known as the Euroboros, this fork-tongued devil isn't trying to kiss its own behind. Snakes have small brains and are more reactive than proactive, so rapid movements, even of their own tail, can make some snakes confuse themselves with lunch. Another reason? If snakes get too hot, they can become confused and disoriented. The animals mistakenly think they're hungry and start chowing down on themselves. Disturbing enough for you? Comment below with the hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Moving doll. Dolls have been with us since recorded history. And as you can see, some people really, really love them and spend their lives amassing a collection like this. So if you're one of those people who've seen any Annabelle movie ever made about a cursed doll, check this out. At the 48 second mark of this video, a doll's arm moves on its own and it's captured on camera. There's always been an eeriness about dolls, a sinister creepiness that's always terrified the young and old with their supposed connection to the supernatural. The first dolls known to man were the Shapti dolls of ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians were firm believers that these Shapti dolls, also known as the Answers, were the true workforce in the afterlife. These dolls were found in the tombs of adult mummies all over Egypt. The earliest report of a haunted doll actually goes back to Ramses III, where his enemies attempted to use wax dolls in his image to bring about his death. It was rumored that the dolls were living and would bring a curse upon anyone who bore their resemblance. Are dolls actually vessels for the undead or hosts for demonic spirits to enter into our realm? To this day, many people are still very adamant in believing that dolls are evil. <laughs> under the bridge If a troll was to live under a bridge, this would be the place to do it. And whoever is filming this startling encounter seems convinced that they actually have captured a real troll dwelling here. He cries out, oh my god, and you can see a gray hand disappearing into the darkness under this bridge. Creepy stuff. Some online commenters may say it's fake, but the angle of the hand appears unusual. So who can really be sure there isn't an actual troll under this bridge? Typically, trolls are mythological creatures that frequently live under bridges and challenge those who wish to cross. In contrast to leprechauns, trolls are not fun-loving, but are threatening and usually harmful. 
A troll prefers to devour those who fail to meet its challenge rather than provide access to its bridge. So this person might have a good reason to be freaked. Unlike the cute, colorful trolls you may have seen in modern movies, the trolls of ancient myths and legends were anything but cute. In fact, their hideous appearance was one of their defining characteristics. Another type of troll is said to resemble a human being. Rather than mountains and forests, this troll lived underground in deep caves or under bridges just like this. Look ma, no parachute. Would you be able to jump from a plane without a parachute and rely only on your friends to get you back safely to the ground? This guy is. Over the years, Travis Pastrana has become notoriously synonymous with his heart-stopping extreme stunt performances in disciplines such as freestyle, rally, and rally cross. He has a raft of world records under his belt, competes in multiple disciplines, is renowned for pushing himself to the limits, and is the man behind many a new tricks. This is one of his most famous. Look ma, no parachute. How wise was it for him to disembark a plane by jumping out of it without a parachute? As for your friends, it's either pass or fail. It was really a trust test for this daredevil to see whether his friends with parachutes on liked him enough to grab him in the air. Oddly, jumping out of a plane without a parachute is not the scary bit. The clinging onto your parachute wearing friend and hoping you don't fall is. Travis's list of career firsts is extensive and includes winning the first ever X Games in California and landing the world's first double backflip on a motorbike. Not to mention replicating three of stuntman legend Evil Knievel's famous motorcycle jumps in Las Vegas. <laughs> Saskatoon Sky Noises Have you ever heard what sounded like mysterious noises coming from the sky that maybe couldn't be explained? This video from Saskatoon in Canada captures just that. like trumpets from the sky, but what is it? According to NASA, it could be the Earth's background noise. A statement from the agency said, if humans had radio antennas instead of ears, we would hear a remarkable symphony of strange noises coming from our own planet. Fair enough, they sound like background music from a flamboyant science fiction film, but this is not science fiction. Earth's natural radio emissions are real, and although we're mostly unaware of them, they're around us all the time. So what's really causing the noise? Scientists point to natural causes such as earthquakes, tidal waves, methane explosions, and even shifting sand dunes as the possible reasons for the oral oddities. Small earthquakes below the surface can transmit sounds of the Earth's cracking crust. Sound emissions could even come from meteors. Other theories include electrical power lines, electromagnetic radiation, high-pressure gas lines, wireless communication devices, submarines, and saving the best for last, the reverberating mating call of unknown animals. <laughs> Orb Activity A preacher from Daytona Beach in Florida was alerted to a single mysterious shape after it set off his living room surveillance camera's motion detector earlier this month, and the pastor was left spooked by ghostly orbs that flew around his home for hours and split into different shapes. Footage shared by Ford showed the large, disc-like shape floating around in his front room, with the pastor convinced it was of supernatural origin. The pastor, who lives alone, walked into his living room while the orb was floating around but says he could only see it on his phone and not in person, further adding to the air of mystery. He was skeptical of the orb but grew more spooked on realizing the apparition had not come from a reflection or flashlight and that it appeared too big to be a speck of dust. At one point, it was seen splitting into at least three separate shapes. The pastor and his friends have enjoyed multiple spirited debates about what the orb could be, but have not come to any firm conclusion. Paranormal fans claim orbs are ghost lights that indicate the presence of paranormal activity. But skeptics say they're usually just particles of dust floating in the air that appear out of focus when captured by a camera lens. But what do you think? Paranormal orb activity or something else altogether? Swallowed by waves Video taken at a traffic intersection in South Africa's Cape Town shows monster waves slamming down onto cars during the seaside city's worst storm in 30 years. In fact, the ferocious storm killed eight people as 30-foot waves pummeled the west coast, triggering flash floods and causing extensive damage. 
The severe weather, dubbed the Cape Storm, has left dozens of people in shanty towns around Cape Town homeless, as well as forcing schools and universities to close. The weather system, which struck, has damaged buildings, felled trees, left 46,000 homes without electricity, and caused travel chaos as flights and rail services were hit by gale force winds and flooding. The South African Weather Service warned that strong gale force winds were expected over the Western Cape and western parts of the Northern Cape region, but it was way worse than they expected. Elsewhere in the region, high winds fanned forest fires, causing damage to homes and property. The extreme weather follows one of the worst droughts for a hundred years that's gripped the region and led to crippling water shortages. This influx of wet weather reaped havoc on the area. <laughs> Mysterious Lights in India Mysterious rows of bright blinking lights gliding across the sky were sighted in India recently, triggering speculation of unidentified flying objects. However, experts dismissed the theory of the unnatural light sighting being UFOs. What do you think? In videos and pictures of the event, bright shining lights could be seen gliding in the row in the sky. This caused curiosity and fear in people of the region due to blind beliefs. However, according to space science, such light sightings could be for three reasons. It could be either because a small portion of a meteoroid had entered the surface of the Earth, it could also be a shooting star, but this particular sighting looked like multiple lights in a row. This could be because of some satellite passing through the low Earth orbit. There are more than 3,000 satellites functional in the lower orbit of the Earth, and that exact same sighting was reported from multiple places in the United States when Elon Musk's SpaceX had launched the Falcon rocket. And after analyzing all the videos we sourced from the event, experts came to the conclusion that these are flares from a fighter aircraft. Secondly, people in Euplita heard a sonic boom, which also suggests the presence of a fighter aircraft. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. The speed and skill of these riders is just incredible. The nail-biting urban downhill through the streets, we get to follow urban downhill mountain bikers from all over the world through the narrow streets of this Chilean town. The skills of the riders are tested to the max on this urban track peppered with stairs, corners, and concrete. When it comes to mountain bike racing, there are few disciplines that look as spectacular as urban downhill. The races see competitors ride with speed down a steep course set in a city or town-based mountainside environment. There's a lot to take in. You'll see racers ride down stairs, navigate past narrow lanes, jump over massive man-made jumps, go over the top of rooftops and buses, and in some cases ride through buildings. The competition has its starting point in the upper part of the hill and runs about a mile downhill until reaching the finish line in the town square. The competition was created by a group of mountain biking fans and its first edition, which had 28 participants, was held in 2003. With the consolidation of the test over the years, it's been attended by athletes from 20 countries. But based on what we're seeing in this clip, this course is out of this world. This winning ride was run by Pedro Ferreira. <laughs> UFO Air Chase In a short clip that went viral from the United Kingdom over the skies of England, two jets can be seen chasing some sort of unidentified disc through the air. Turns out that this might actually be a common occurrence in these parts. Previously classified documents, sealed for 61 years, have been revealed to show the UFO hotspots in the UK. The discoveries were reported by air traffic control employees, pilots, police officers, and journalists. And London was at the top of the list with 54 sightings. An incredible 626 sightings were collected in 2009 alone across the UK. For years, the Royal Air Force was responsible for recording public reports and submitting them to authorities. Until recently, the UK government had some serious manpower behind UFO sightings. Eventually, in true X-File style, the UFO wing of the Air Force was shut down after higher-ups concluded that in 50 years they had found no evidence of a potential threat. But according to local UFO hunters, the best time to spot a UFO is between 8 p.m. and midnight. Between 10 and 11 p.m. is the sweet spot with almost 100 sightings. According to a 2020 survey, one in five Brits admitted that it's likely that aliens currently live on Earth, whereas 65% say it's not likely and 15% are undecided. The Museum of Shadows 
One night at 9.53 p.m., right before this unusual museum closed, a mirror in a child's coffin turned and followed a museum guest before falling, all caught on security cam. But it's the kind of thing you would expect in a place like this. Welcome to the Museum of Shadows. It's a perfect place for the home of one of the largest collections of haunted artifacts in the world. The Museum of Shadows, located in Omaha, Nebraska, is the product of a demonologist and his wife, a psychic medium. Some 3,000 haunted artifacts are kept within the walls of this place. The items on display run from the whimsical, lots of dolls, to the macabre, several Ouija boards, to the genuinely disturbing, animal carcasses used in rituals, the chest x-ray of a shooting victim. Anything goes. In order for an item to be displayed in the Museum of Shadows, it must be haunted. To determine if an item is indeed haunted, Kali and Nate investigate the artifact. The two also use paranormal equipment that can detect electromagnetic disruptions. The two will also turn the cameras onto the artifacts and determine if they moved on their own, just like the little mirror did in this video. The owners have posted videos of the museum that have shown doors suddenly open as well as items that have been moved off the shelves. <laughs> Hungry Wolf Eel This rare beast isn't scared of humans, as you can see. This hungry wolf eel won't stop at anything to sink its spiky teeth into. Wolf eels are very large fish. They can be up to 8 feet long and weigh around 40 pounds. It was given the name because of its powerful jaws and sharp teeth that it uses to crush hard-shelled creatures such as crabs and abalone. But believe it or not, these creatures are shy and retiring in spite of their name and appearance. The wolf eel's name may be a bit deceiving. This animal is actually a fish, not an eel. Like other fish, they have pectoral fins and pairs of gill slits, plus one dorsal fin that goes nearly the whole length of their body. And a layer of slime covers the skin of a wolf eel. The slime acts as a protective coating and functions similarly to a human's immune system. Because their scales are smaller and embedded in their skin, they almost look like they're covered in leather. Their skeleton is made up of between 228 and 250 fish bones that are flexible. The skeleton of a wolf eel is cartilaginous. This means that they can flex their body, making it possible for them to get into tighter spaces. <laughs> School haunting. Today, the Philippines remains a spiritual country, with ghosts and folklore firmly embedded in its history and passed down largely through oral tradition. Is this video the proof we need that ghosts are real? This is a creepy video of a security guard's scary encounter with an alleged poltergeist at a school in the Philippines. The poor fella had no other choice but to face his fears and film the incident because it was part of his job. In the video, it can be seen that the guy is filming in an unnamed school while the voices of howling dogs can be heard in the background. Some banging noises can be also heard with no other people inside the vicinity. The brave man also filmed how chairs suddenly move on their own without any person manipulating them. What the heck? The guy turns his flashlight on it and the paranormal activity stopped, and he quickly runs away after getting out of the classroom. Can you blame him? The incident looks like a real-life paranormal activity situation that could not be explained by science alone. For a child in the Philippines, it's not uncommon to hear about these various urban legends and ghostly tales from an older sibling or a wise elder. This guy gets to work with it every night on the job. Man vanishes forever. On one of their nights out while on vacation in Bulgaria on the Black Sea coast, while hanging with some friends, a 28-year-old German man got into a fight. Mysteriously, days later, he would run away panicked from the airport and disappear into thin air. He left all his belongings behind, including his wallet and passport. And on June 30th, 2014, Lars Matank literally disappeared. Leading up to that, Lars and his posse were at a bar in town when he got into a disagreement with some tourists. He then parted from his friends and after leaving the bar, he disappeared for the rest of the night and claimed he was beaten up by a group of men. The fight resulted in Lars suffering an injured jaw and a ruptured eardrum. And he was last seen a week later at the airport, the day he was hoping to fly home to Germany. He was captured by airport security cameras running away, climbing a fence, running into a meadow, and disappearing into an adjacent field of sunflowers nearby. Suddenly, all captured on CCTV, he jumped the six-foot-tall fence and disappeared into the woods forever. 
where did Lars go? The video of Lars running away from the airport is one of the most watched disappearances online, describing him as the most famous missing person on the internet. Cemetery Girl If you're a fan of a good old ghost story, then this might tickle your fancy. There's a famous urban legend that a mysterious ghost-like girl with black hair has been known to haunt neighborhoods in the United States related to a series of child killings in the 1960s. Others claim that these ghouls make appearances all over the world. So there's more of them. The people filming are completely flabbergasted of this spooky being strolling through the cemetery like something out of a horror movie. The footage goes on for over four minutes as the creepy girl in white moves in mysterious ways between the tombstones. Besides haunting this obviously very old cemetery, there are reports of similar cemetery girls knocking on people's doors and taunting their victims. You can apparently hear them screaming in the distance or laughing in the shadows. For all of us, walking through a cemetery might be a little creepy, but at the same time, there's something historical and fascinating about the grave markers too. But this? Black hair? Head down? Wandering like a ghost through the rows? Extremely creepy. And no more is that better exhibited than by the reaction of the fellas filming the video. It's understandable. Talk about Haunted Ghost Tour Cemetery Edition. Once again, we've brought you even more scary videos of insane stuff captured on camera. You might need to sleep with the lights on tonight. But before you leave, like and subscribe first and share these videos with all your friends. Mm -hmm.